The next tab over is the Bill of Materials tab. The Bill of Materials, or BOM as we call it, provides a tabular listing on components of files referenced in a master file. Multiple BOM types are available. For example, SOLIDWORKS bombs, weldment bombs, and even named bombs, which you can think of those as kind of like custom parts lists. Bomb references are automatic for all SOLIDWORKS files, but other files can be manually added to bill of materials also. And like many other tools in PDM, your PDM administrator controls what you have access to and what bill of material types you can use. Extra note here is that bill of materials can be automatically exported with the pro version of PDM in XML format. And that can be very useful if you have downstream operations that require access to that data. The bill of materials tab, as I mentioned, is the next one over. In order to use this, you would just simply select it. And then anything that you click on, it will show you the bill of materials or the reference files for that master file. So at any level, you can select a file. If there's no references, nothing will be shown. If there are references, it will show in the bill of materials tab. Now the types of bill of materials you have access to, Again, this is controlled by your administrator, but in the top left corner, this is where you can access different bill of material types. So for example, here, I have a purchasing bill of material. I also have my, my regular bomb. Now, we talked about the version tab in uh, just a few moments ago, a few slides ago, and versions are also available here in the bill of materials. So if, for example, an assembly bill changed, you know, the versions were updated with new files or files were taken away, then the version for that assembly in the bill of materials tab, you would access and you would see a different bill of materials view for that version. And one thing I do like to point out here is that the capabilities of bill of materials in the PDM system goes above and beyond what you get in regular SOLIDWORKS CAD software. So what we're seeing right now is just, it's like a reference tree. So it's, it's basically the CAD bomb that you're seeing. In this example here, I'm selecting the technical publication and it's showing me the CAD bomb. Um, this is an SMG format, so SOLIDWORKS Composer document. And then even further up, I'm getting to the actual publication itself, which is in Word format. Now, as you can see on the Bill of Materials tab, this, re this reference references the SMG file, the Composer document, which references the SOLIDWORKS assembly, which has its reference tree. So all of that shows in the Bill of Materials. Now, I mentioned we can do this manually as well, and i like to show a quick example here of uh, manually creating a Bill of Materials because these capabilities can be quite useful if you, you have different file types, uh, maybe some legacy data in some old formats. So this quick example right here shows me I have a DWG file, which is the assembly document. I have files that are used in the assembly. These are all separate DWG files again. I have an installation document, which is a word format, and then I have a, a finished picture of the assembly, which is just a simple JPEG. Now, as you could see while I was clicking through, there was no bill of materials shown for any of these. Now, what I might want to do here is create that bill of materials manually. So what I would do is I would simply check out the top level document. I can take the files that I want to be reference documents and do a process of copy and then on the parent document itself, do a simple right click and paste as reference. Now what this does is it attaches those documents as references to that top level. And then when that top level is checked in, and I'll just write a quick note there for the uh, history of the file. You can see it now creates a bill of materials for that top level document. 
So good example there using different file formats, but you can do this with any file. So it could be a SOLIDWORKS file, um, Word document, old legacy data, it, it, anything's good. And then uh, to get the bill of materials from PDM in the top right hand corner, there is the option to save as. So this will give you the option in PDM Pro to save as a named bill of materials. In uh, PDM Standard and PDM Pro, you can save it as a CSV file. And that can be done for, for any file format. So here I'm just doing it on the DWG. If we go back to the file we were just looking at a few moments ago, the spreader, I have the same options right here. So that's the Bill of Materials tab, and uh, it makes a very useful tool in, uh, in the SOLIDWORKS interface for managing and maintaining Bill of Materials.